Yeah. Is she quite a high achieving woman herself? No, and I think that's why she put a lot of pressure on me. Um, my dad, he he wasn't around as much when I was in primary school, and there was actually a period of time my parents were separated, um, and then they got back together when I was in high school, and that was probably when he was more involved. And I think it was a bit of an adjustment to that dynamic as well. Yep. Because while my mom was more strict about like my academic and like the sort of investment she was making um, into like my hobby, like violin and all that sort of stuff, my dad was strict in terms of, I guess, like, you know, me going out with friends or me like staying up late or staying out late um, and like what I did with my time. So it's kind of interesting. I feel like my mom, there were definitely times where she was a bit more strict about that, but at the same time, I don't know how to explain it. They were just like strict about different things. And like, I just remember like when I started high school, um, my parents went through my Facebook or most, like more, more specifically my dad, he went through my Facebook and deleted every single boy off of my <laughs> friend list because he didn't want me to like interact with anyone so he was he was very strict in that regard and like I don't think that's a very typically Western thing. Like I have I have a friend who's like a few years younger than me and like she she's full Japanese and like this is the sort of stuff like her parents would do as well. Yeah. I don't know. Um Well, I'd have to agree with you. I think it's not a necessarily Western practice to do something like that. Yeah. So I wonder have you spoken to your dad about it? Why he did it? We don't talk about this stuff i don't know what it is well at the time how did you how did you 